Hey right, guys, um, thanks for stumbling across the little channel. It's going to be a really quick one today because it is absolutely bloody freezing. So today what we're going to be doing is putting the bumper on the car and um, clearing the errors and seeing where we get to. It's too cold. It's just way too cold to be doing this stuff on the driveway. So let's go on with that and then we'll see how we feel later. And sit down. So I took the bumper off so I could see the front of what I was doing. I thought I might have to disassemble the front, but I haven't luckily. So we're going to put this back on the car now. Um, I've still got the under tray. So under here, I've still got all the under tray, so I've got to fix that. There's a bit of aluditing to do on the other side, and I've still got the um, the big bash shield that goes under there. That needs to be um, stuck back on as well. But let's get the bumper back on first. Connect the cameras, connect all the sensors and everything. Clear those errors and crack on. Happy days. All right, so there's only two connectors on this side, which is the camera and the um, the harness for the um, sensors, etc. And then on the other side, you just got the camera. So then this should then all pull back, and then it's just a matter of putting bolts in. And then I've got bolts across the top. And then I've got the same on this side. Just pull this back, locate it, and get the bolts in. Um, and then it's just down to the under tray. So um, let's get those bolts in first. Get all this bolted up. Give it a bit of a clean, see what it looks like. All right, so that is the front bumper back on. bit tight there but we can adjust that when we've got the car down I'm not going to do that I just it's really difficult you need to be able to turn the wheels to get into different bits these are all tight crossed up and that looks nice on that side probably just need pulling up a little bit there yeah bump just needs lifting up but that will happen when you get the under tray and everything on Let's see what it happens when we shut the it's pretty good. I could probably do with going back a touch. I was saying that, I don't know. Definitely needs to get a lip boy for it, don't I? That changed the car so much, get a nice little car on the side. Right, let's go and get the uh, laptop, let's clear these errors, and um, see what's left. Okay, I don't have the battery charger on at the moment, and it's saying, I think the battery on this is screwed, so. Anyway, it's saying um, only about the time on the fuel reserve and battery discharge, which is uh, to be expected, I guess. So I think by putting the bumper on, I've cleared all the errors. So I'm just gonna run into ISTA and have a look, clear the errors and see what we're left with. Give this a minute. Okay, so here we go. These are gonna be the errors that are stored. So there should be like six or seven or something, shouldn't there, when it finishes. So there's eight now. Probably because of the battery discharge. So these are all the old errors that we had with the power management current violation because the engine is not running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset all of these and see what we're left with. So we delete, yes. And hopefully the cameras and everything should come back up. And all the passenger safety stuff because that's all now plugged back in. <clears throat> dun dun dun! <laughs> that's amazing! That's absolutely amazing! <laughs> I can't actually believe that. Um, I've got zero errors. That's bloody brilliant. I know I've not driven the car, so I've still got to run through and get the car up to temperature and everything. I've got zero errors. 
That's astonishing. Um, <laughs> right, so it's absolutely freezing. It's like it's literally like two degrees, and my fingers are I can't feel what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be a bit warmer tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna call it there today. Tomorrow I'm gonna hopefully at lunchtime because tomorrow's a Monday. I'm going to climb out at lunchtime and put the exhaust on. And um, once we've got the exhaust on, um, then I can take the car down off the stands and uh, we can start rolling the car backwards and forwards under its own power and um, seeing how everything runs and run out of the temperature and make sure nothing's going to be leaking, make sure I've got no holes in any radiators or anything like that. But that I'm speechless. I'm actually speechless. If you'd have told me, that I was going to end up today with zero errors on here, I would have um, bitten your arm off. That is absolutely incredible. So the only things I've got up here is about running out of petrol, which is a bit bizarre because it says there's like nearly a quarter of a tank. Is that normal for M5s to tell me? And the time monitor needs initialising, which you need to do when you drive. So <laughs> I'm made up. I'm absolutely made up. I honestly didn't think the day would come that I'd have a completely green tree. That's absolutely astonishing. I'm so happy. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. <laughs> it's a bit of a short one just getting the bumper on, but I've cleared all the errors and I'm made up and I'm going to call it there. I'm not going to chance my luck anymore. Um, thank you very much for watching. Really short one. Appreciate that. I'm sorry. Um, next one, I'll get the exhaust on. We'll get the car dropped down and we'll get it moving under its own power and we'll go through some tests to make sure that everything's uh, fine and, and nothing's going to burst. Um, but... Happy days, happy days. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen here before or if you're interested to see what happens next, please do hit that like and subscribe button and hit the bell um, so it tells you when the exhaust one comes out. Um, otherwise, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. I'm over the moon. This is like my second Christmas. 2021 is going to be a good year. It really is. Um, I've got green across the board. I'm made up. I couldn't be happier. Thank you very much. Stay safe, guys, and we'll see you on the driveway next time. tell you what i really wish i had a garage with like a, a full post lift or something so i could put a heater I'm trying to do this stuff outside on the driveway it's an absolute nightmare it's freezing